Father, we pray that you walk together with us as we begin. And at the end of it, Lord, we shall give honor to thee. We bless your name and we honor your name. Be together with us, even for those who are intending to join us later. That, Lord, we shall be together, Lord, doing your will. For we pray this in Jesus' holy name. Our processional song, To God Be the Glory.
Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. We welcome you all to our today's service. It's Easter Sunday and it's a Holy Communion service. We feel at Jesus' feet. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall not hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. Christ, our pastoral love, has been sacrificed. Let us therefore celebrate the, fest the festival, not with the old leaven of Mary's and evil, but with unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. When he was at table with them, he took the bread and blessed it, broke it, and gave it to them, and their eyes were opened, and they recognized him. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The earth is Lord's and all that is in it. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. I was glad when they said to me. Let us go to the house of the Lord. Praise the Lord. The name of the Lord be praised. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. We get seated to pray the prayer of purity. Option number one. Together, Almighty God, you bring to light things hidden in darkness and know the shadows of our heart. Cleanse and renew us by your spirit that we may walk in the light and glorify your name. Through Jesus Christ, the light of the world. Amen. The summary of the law. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, The first and great commandment is this Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. Amen. Lord, have mercy and write these laws in our hearts, we pray. We stand to glorify the Lord. Glory to the Father. Glory to the Son. Glory to the Spirit. Forever three in one. Be glorified at home. Be glorified in church. Be glorified in Kenya. Be glorified in Africa. Be glorified on earth. Be glorified in heaven. Glory to the Father. Glory to the Son. Glory to the Spirit. Forever three in one. Hallelujah. Amen. As we stand, let us stand to our Buddha things. We pray the prayer appointed for the day. The prayer for Easter Sunday. Together we pray. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. He is risen indeed. indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He broke the chains of death and, and hates and gloriously resurrected. And now lives and reigns forever. Through his death and resurrection, we, we have the assurance of eternal life. life. Help, Help us, Lord, to die daily to sin, that we may overcome life with you in the joy of his risen life. life. In, in your name, name we, pray. we pray. Amen. Amen. As we stand, we remain standing for the psalm appointed for the day. The psalm appointed for the day is Psalm 118, verse 1 to 2, then 14 to 24. Psalm 118, verse 1 to 2, then we'll be able to jump to verse 14 all the way to 24. Psalm 118, 1, 2, then 14 to 24. If you are there, brothers and sisters, I will proceed. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, his steadfast love endures forever. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. 
glad songs of salvation are in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does variantry. The right hand of the Lord exalts. The right hand of the Lord does variantry. I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord has disciplined me severely, but he has not given me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me, and I have become my and I have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Glory to the Father, to the, the Son, and, to the, and Holy the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, this is now, and ever shall be. Amen. We get seated for the first reading. In the place of the Old Testament, we shall read Hark chapter 10 from verse 34 to 43. So, uh, Acts chapter 10, 34 to 43. So Peter opened his mouth and said, Truly, I understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation, anyone who fear him and does what is right is acceptable to him. As for the ones that he has sent to Israel, preaching good news of peace through Jesus Christ, he is the Lord of all. You, you yourself know what happened throughout all Judea, beginning from Galilee after the baptism that John proclaimed. How God appointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. And we, we are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. But God raised, on, but God raised him on the third day, and he made him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who have been chosen by God as witnesses, who ate and drank with him after, after he rose from the dead, and commanded us to preach to the people, and to testify that he is the one appointed by God to judge the living and the dead. To him, all the prophet bear witness, bear witness that everyone who believes in him receives for forgiveness of sins through his name. That is the word of God. We now welcome the church choir. Kanisa Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise God Church. Amen. Bwana mnakaa mkiwa mko na uoga. Praise God Church. 
we are celebrating the risen Christ tunasema amefufuka kifo kimeshindwa na kwa hivyo tuko na matumaini kama wakristo kwamba pia sisi tutaishinda mauti na tutaupata uzima wa milele iwapo tutaweza kumwamini huyu Kristo ambaye amefufuka na kwa wimbo wetu wa pili tunajikumbusha matukio ambayo yaliweza kumpelekea Yesu kuweza kusulubishwa ambapo mmoja wa wanafunzi wake aliweza kumsaliti ndipo akauawa na swali kubwa kwetu wa Kristo ni je tutarudi kumsaliti huyu Yesu tena ama anapofufuka ndani ya maisha yetu tutazidi kumtukuza milele tuweze kuyatafakari haya tunapo msifu Mungu kwa hizi nyimbo mbili karibuni
Let's appreciate them. Coco Kararira. We can only relate with what happened to Peter. Kakuku Kalifanya Niri Kararira. Okay, let's get ready for the episode reading. The pistol reading is taken from the reading taken the pistol reading is taken from the book of First Corinthians, leading, beginning to read at verse one to to eleven. First Corinthians, beginning to lead at verse 1 to 11. 
1 Corinthians 1 to 11. Moreover, brethren, I declare to you the gospel which I preach to you, which also you received, and in which you stand, by which also you are saved. If you hold fast that word which I preached to you, unless you believe in vain, for I believe, for I, deli for I delivered to you first of all which I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and he rose again that day according to the scriptures, and that he has and that he was seen by Severus, then by the twelve. After that, he was seen by over five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain to the present, but some have fallen asleep. After that, he was seen by James, then by all the apostles. Then last of all, he was seen by me also. As by, as, as by one born out, out, out of due time. For I am the least of the apostles, whom I am not worthy to be called an apostle, because, I'm persecuted, because I persecuted the church of God. But the grace of God, I am what I am, and, he, and his grace to warn me was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than than they all, yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me, but, but, but the grace of God which was with me. Therefore, whether it was I or they, so we preach, and so you believed. This is the word of the Lord. Be to the Lord. We start for the gospel leading. We stand to hear the good news of our salvation as it is written according to St. John, chapter 20, beginning to read verses 1 through 18. The good news of our salvation as it is written according to St. John, chapter 20, beginning to read verses 1 through 18 the good news of our salvation as it is written according to St. John chapter 20, beginning to read verses 1 through 18. Now on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early while it was still dark and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she learned went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. So Peter went out with the other disciple, and they were going toward the tomb. Both of them were learning together, but the other disciple outlined Peter and reached the top first. And stopping to look in, he saw the linen clothes lay, lying there, but, the, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen cloth lying there, and the face cloth which had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen cloth, but folded up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who had reached the top first, also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to, to, their, to their home. But Mary stood weeping outside the top, and as she wept, she stopped to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and 
one at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Having said this, she turned aloud and saw Jesus standing, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned and said to him in Aramaic, Labon, which means teacher, Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father, but go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father, and your Father to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and that he had said these things to her. This is the gospel of Christ. Hallelujah. Praise be to Christ our Savior. As we remain standing, we shall turn to item 18 of the Holy Communion service to be projected. We stand together with Christians throughout the centuries and throughout the world today to affirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. Together, we believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate of the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. We now get to an intercessory session, and we want to welcome the prison worshipers to guide us through that. He is risen, amen. amen. Uh, the word of God says in Matthew, Come and see, He is not here. Come and see where the place that He laid. Jesus Christ is risen, amen. Na tunataka tushangilie mana amefufuka. Tunataka kurudi utotoni. Mimbo ambao tulikuwa tunaimba Sunday school. Amen. Amen. Wayahudi walimu wa Yesu. Wakadhani yote amekwisha. Shiwe kubwa likabingirishwa. Mbele ya lile kaburu. Atwende. Wakafikiri yote ya mekwisha Chiwe kubwa likabingirishwa Mlangoni wakaburi lile Lakini yo Yesu wali Yesu lumiwa Ambe kukunga yo ishi milele Oh, I'm not a 
Thank you. 
pole pole dance pole pole hivi tu twende pole pole tu
Abavolada goes Willing across And washing If you believe that Oh, Abavolada goes Amen. 
Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tunasema ni asanti, tunasema ukainuliwe milele kwa sababu wewe ni mtakatifu. Mtakatifu wa takatifu hakuna mwingine kama wewe. Ulitundukwa mtarabani kwa ajili ya dhambi zetu ili yeyote atakayeamini ya kwamba Yesu ni bwana akapokee usima wa milele mfanme. Siku hii tunakuja kukumbuka ya kwamba ulifufuka mfanme ili sisi zote tutakayeamini tutaingia pumziko ya milele. Tunajikabidhi mikononi mwako ambao iko na nguvu na mamlaka yote mfanme kwa sababu ni wewe tu umetufanya tukue mahali hapa. Pokea sifa shukulani zote ni sako Mungu. Asante kwa wiki jema umekuwa pamoja nasi tukitembea tukienda safari zetu umekuwa mwaminifu tukienda kazini tukienda kazi zenye tunafanya umekuwa mwaminifu wale wote walikuwa wanasafiri hata wakienda shule umekuwa mwaminifu tuseme nini baba ila tushukuru china lako mfanme tuko na siku ingine ya leo ya kuja kusema ni asanti kwa sababu umekuwa Mungu mwema katika maisha yetu isipokuwa ni nguvu zako na wema wako tetunge kwa mahali hapa pokea sifa utukufu wote ni wako Mungu uinuliwe milele katika kila nafsi ya mtu ako hapo yote inuliwe milele katika mapito yetu mfanme inuliwe milele katika wale wanakuabudu mfanme wa ajabu tunakushukuru tunakuinua tukisema hakuna hakufananishwa na wewe mfanme asante kwa usiku ya leo asante kwa utalo wako mtakatifu umekuwa pamoja nasi na umekuwa kibilio letu tuseme nini baba ila tushukuru jina lako mfanme wakati huu tunataka kukubushika oh Our reader sorry dima master king of glory tukikumbuka hao wote wanaongoza wana kanisa hili letu mfanme wa ajabu tukikumbuka kibishof wetu my father lord of my king of glory ukue pamoja na yeye akiongoza hii province of uh, this nation no redeemer master mkumbuke mfanme wa ajabu kila chochote atakuwa ana, anaendelea kufanya ikuwe imeongozwa na wewe mfanme tunataka kukumbuka hata wakibisha for redeemer master tukikumbuka bishop wa elo mfanme wa ajabu endelea kuende, ku, kuenda pamoja na yeye hata wakati huu anagojea kustaafu mfanme wa ajabu kakue mungu wake katika kila mapito tunatangaza ukuu wako katika maisha yake Asante kwa wale wote wako nyuma yake mfanme tukikumbuka tukikumbuka okidikunare my father lord my king of glory tukikumbuka canon sorry dima master tukikumbuka ofika sorry dima master king of glory asante kwa kanisa letu la good samaritan mfanme wa ajabu tunakumbuka mchungaji wetu ambaye ni Henan Mwangi my father lord my king of glory hawezi bila wewe mfanme wa ajabu hawezi bila kuongozwa na wewe Ubali amefika ameona mkono wako. Ubali umeenda na yeye mfanme tunaona uguu ya mkuu wako mfanme. Endelea kumtetea mfanme wa ajabu. Endelea kumuongoza katika kila jambo. Kila step akimeko redeemer master king of glory. Let him my father lord of might king of glory be focusing on you redeemer master. Hawezi bila wewe mfanme wa ajabu. Hata sasa akiendelea kutuongoza kwa kila jambo kwa kila ki, kwa kila aina mfalme wa ajabu ambao umemwitia akaende kuongoza tunaomba leo wako mtakatifu akawe pamoja na yeye ni asanti kwa sababu ya wa leveled Simon Oridima Master hawezi bila wewe mfalme wa ajabu endelea kumuongoza katika kila jambo endelea kumuongoza pamoja na familia yake mfalme maandiko yako inasema let the house be built by the yoga that will build the river in Fainoga mfalme wa ajabu endelea kumtengenezea nyumba yake endelea kuwa kiongozi wa maisha yake mfalme wa ajabu kwa kila kitu atakayefanya mfalme wa ajabu akaye ameongozwa na wewe nataka kuta, ku, kuleta mtumishi wako evangelist monyo mikononi mwako mikononi ambayo iko na nguvu na mamlaka yote mikononi ambayo iko na nguvu ya kubadilisha ninamkambidhi mikononi mwako mfalme mfalme endelea kumuongoza kwa huduma yake endelea kumuongoza kila kila kitu atakayofanya pamoja na familia yake
yake Mungu hawezi bila wewe mfalme wa ajabu endelea kumtendea na endelea kumuongoza nataka kukumbuka Oredas na wale wote wanasaidiana na mchungaji endelea kuwaongoza katika kila mapito ukaongezeke katika maisha yao nao wapungue ili Mungu jina lako litukuzwe na linuliwe zaidi asante mfalme wa ajabu kwa kanisa lote tukikumbuka pisi simba Mebaso ga my father lord almighty may you be together with them all redeem our master waongoze katika kila jambo waongoze katika kila mapito hawawezi bila wewe mfalme wa ajabu wakiongoza ili kanisa mfalme wa ajabu wake hekima ambayo imetoka kwa kwa Mungu ni mfalme wa ajabu na wakiongozwa na wewe mambo yote itakuwa sawa ha wale wote wanaweza kuwa hawajajuana na wewe mfalme wa ajabu wakakujue ya kwamba ni wewe tu unaweza ongoza isha yao asante mfalme wa ajabu kwa sababu ya uongozi wa wamama kwa hii kanisa nataka kukumbuka mothers union department already mama cha may you be together with them oh god on my taking of glory kila chochote watakaoamua kufanya mfandwe wakamfanye kama wameongozwa na wewe hawawezi kuongozwa bila wewe mfalme na deposit tunaarika nguvu zako sikawe pamoja na wao na kila mapito atakao kwenda mfalme wakue mfalme dio kio ngozi wao tunakabidhi kama department mikononi mwako tukisema ya kwamba waendelee kuongozwa na wewe kama vile tunajua wa baba ndio viongozi wa nyumba zetu tunatangaza hata wakikuja kanisani mfalme wa ajabu wataendelea mfalme kuwa kuwa viongozi wazuri ambao wamejuana na wewe mfalme wa ajabu wale wote hawaja kujua mfalme mfalme wa ajabu kaweze kuingia kwa roho zao ili wakaweze kukujua na wakakili ya kwamba Yesu ni bwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo na wakabidhi mikononi mwako nikijua utatembea na wao na utawaongoza katika kila jambo nataka kukumbuka oh yang yang wate wa, 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 au arika mfanme wa ajabu wale wote tuko pamoja na wao mfanme wa ajabu kawakumbuke kwa jia kuu wale wote ambao hawana kazi mfanme ukawape kazi ili wakaweze kujimuisha na maisha yao mfanme wa ajabu nataka kukumbuka hata wale wote wako shule na pengine hawana hawana school fees oh god my father lord almighty may you provide for them my god ni asanti mungu kwa sababu unawapenda na wale wote hata wanakojea kushumbiwa tunawakabidhi kononi mwako ya mfalme kwa sababu ni wewe ulisema ya kwamba one tu a better than one oh god kwa hii kanisa yetu kuna watu wengi mfalme ambao hawajapata watu wao mfalme wa ajabu kwa sababu hakuna jambo hauwezi tunawakabidhi mikononi mwako na tunatangaza ya kwamba kutakuwa na maharusi katika jina la Yesu Kristo asanti kwa sababu unawapenda asanti kwa sababu hawatapotelea ije but watakuwa hapa kanisani tukikushuhudia ya kwamba wewe ni mfalme katika maisha yao ni Asante kwa sababu unawapenda. Tunakabidhi hata watoto mikononi mwako, mikononi ambayo iko na nguvu na mamlaka yote, wakiendelea kukua wakuwa wamekuogopa mfalme na hata wakiwa wanawatifu kwa wazazi wao katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Asante kwa wale wote wanaweza kuwa wameingia kikao hiki wakiwa wako na maumivu ya kila mahari. Mfalme wa ajabu, kwa sababu hakuna jambo gumu kwako mfalme. Natangaza uponyaji wako katika maisha yao wale wote wameingia hapa wakiwa wamechanganyikiwa mfalme wa ajabu wewe ni mfalme wa amani ukawape amani ambao ipitao amani yote mfalme wa ajabu tunatangaza amani yako kwa maisha yao tunatangaza uponyaji kwa maisha yao katika jina la Yesu Kristo wale wanaweza kuwa wako vitandani mwao katika manyumba zao tunatangaza uponyaji wako wale wanaweza kuwa wako hospitali tunatangaza uponyaji wako katika jina la Yesu Kristo na tukisikia hao watu wamepona tutakuwa na jambo la kusema ni asanti hata sasa tunasema asanti kwa sababu ni wewe umewashikilia kiwango hiki asante Mungu kwa sababu umekuwa mwema umekuwa mwaminifu katika maisha yetu tuseme nini baba ila tuseme wewe ni mfalme na hakuna wakufananishwa na wewe umefufuka umefufuka na kuna wakufananishwa na wewe hauko kaburini tena na diposa tunasema ya kwamba sisi tuko na nguvu kwa sababu mwenye tunaambini amefufuka mfalme Yesu tunakushukuru tunainua jina lako tukisema 
nasema hakuna wengine mwingine kama wewe tunajikabidhi mikononi mwako ambaye iko na nguvu na mamlaka yote tukisema ni asanti tukisema ukainuliwe milele in the mighty name of Jesus we pray and give thank you mode of prayer we want to welcome the family of Harrison Gatana familia ya Harrison Gatana Nancy haya kujeni they want to offer thanks to God let us appreciate them as they come to the altar sana asanteni mngesema kitu kwanza eh pewe microphone eh angarieni kanisa uh, uh, god is good all the time and all the time god is good that is his nature asante sana mimi ndo wetu hadi tarehe shukukatana nimekuja na familia hapa nyinyi kanisa mmenijua kabla ni wajue mkanisaidia sana mapema na sasa tumekuwa tumekuwa na mama ame, na amefanya surgery na amekuwa successful amepewa muda kama miaka mbili hivi lakini sasa ameimprove sasa tumesema maombi yenu tumeshukuru hata mbali referee eh, amekuja kututembelea na akatupatia nguvu na akatupatia special support financial na kila kitu kwa hivyo tumekuja kusema asanti na mbarikiwe sana. Asante. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Amen. Mungu ni mwema kila wakati. Amen. Naitwa Nancy Joki. My husband ni huyu. Tumekuja siku ya leo tukiwa na furaha na family yangu. Hii ndio family yangu na nashukuru Mungu. E, Mungu ametebea na mimi na nashukuru kwa msungaji wetu Reverend Mungu akubariki sana pamoja na waongozi wa kanisa hii Mungu ambariki sana ni nashukuru kwa sababu mmesimama na mimi Kutoka 207 nimekuwa na sida ya spinal cord na nimeenda nikifanyiwa medical therapy madawa masidano lakini Hakuna siku nilikuanga na kuwa sawa. Nikaenda hivi kumbe nikuharibika na haribika saidi. E, nikikuja by 23 2023 by December I think last week ya December ndio nilifika hapa kanisani. Na kufika pale nje hata nikasidwa kutembea na miguu kwa juu paka nikaitisa pikipiki nikapanda inipeleke home wale wa mama tulikuwa nao pale nje nikamwambia mimi nimesikia siwezi tembea saidi sitafika huko home so by january 13 nilipata jia ya kwenda admission nika admitiwa hospitali na by 21 nikafanywa surgery ya spinal cord mungu ni mwema Niliingia kwa dieta nilipigia reverend asimame na maombi na aliomba na Mungu tulikaomba pamoja alitenda ju 21 asubuhi kukianda kukusha ndio niliingia kwa dieta na Mungu ni mwema nikafanyiwa hiyo sanjare nikawekwa misumali whatever niliwekwa na Mungu ni mwema hiyo safari kanisa mumesimama na nini na nimashukuru sana Mungu ambariki sana Mulisimama na mimi hiyo wakati mumeendelea mkinisikilia kwa mao. So ana kwa sababu kwa sababu hata saa hii tumefika hapa. Ila first ni kuomba na kushukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya ile ametutendea. Nashukuru sana nasema ni asanti 
na kanisa rafiki sangu nimeshukuru na ninasikia tu sijui ni sema nini sipokuwa kusema asanti 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 na muendelee tu kuwa mnasimama na nasoma kanisa hii ya good samantan ni mwema nakumbuka kuna siku moja baba siro joyland nisikilia huruma akaniambia pengine wewe uambie daktari bire huko tutaenda na we wakati alikuwa na mguu tukaenda na yeye huko mp sa kirudi clinic nikakaa hapo akasema nitakaa hapo nisikie bila unasema na hivyo ndio bwana wangu alikuwa anasema akasikia bila niliambia bila alisikia nikapewa mandao hoteba bila nilikuwa wa, madaktari wamesoea but nilishukuru sana baba joyland na mama joyland mabasiro mungu ambariki sana nini marafiki wa nguvu kisana na nasikia kusema asanti sina la kusema reverend wetu jumu mesimama na sai bedreham my fellowship mungu ambariki sana wakati hata mlikuwa mmesikia nimetoka hospitali mungu niwasha mlisimama na nini na mkakuja mkasimama na nini hata kwa nyumba mkaniletea maombi reverend alikuja wakiwa watu wa na mtu wake na wakanibariki na wakaniletea hata shuku kwa nyumba mungu ambariki sana Nashukuru Mungu jua ameniweka hai. Pale pamebaki najua mtasimama na nini mtaendelea kunisikilia na maombi. Na Mungu atatenda jua ametenda. Nilikuwa hata nimeasa kuinama. Nilikuwa naona nikikalia hurusea. Lakini Mungu ni mwema. Ikufika hiyo wakati. Kabla nikalia hurusea Mungu alikataa. Kamwambia Mungu atakalia hurusea. Kama wakati ile sita sana hata nilikuwa hata ushuku na akidogo na mama na jaribu kuweka mguu na jaribu aje siku kali hata saa hii sitakalia na Mungu alikuja ile wakati yake inafaa tujifunze kugojea Mungu juu miaka kumi na sita kama umekaa na shida inakusumbua saidi paka ikafika kulemea utalemewa na kutembea ni kama sasa utashida kutajua hanta siga toka kwangu paka hanta sina nikaribu paka napanda dudhi kabla niende hiyo operation na kama Mungu akukubali nikalie uhurusia. Ameniweka mpaka saa hii. Mungu ni wa maajabu. Kwa hivyo tujifunze kugojea Mungu wakati yake. Usionange ati unakaa kama hujasaindika. Ukiwa na sida, atunaambia Mungu amekuwasha, akwangi amekuwasha. Ni wakati yake inakuanga injafika. Ju sisi tunaomba tu, niombe leo. Mungu anipe kesho ama saa hiyo. Lakini Mungu anakujaga na wakati yake. Na shukuru kwa sababu alikuja wakati ile inafaa. Mungu ni mwema na ni mwaninifu. Sijui kama nita introduce wa watu wangu ama Ndelea. <laughs> Wasa nianza na msana mkubwa. Huyu ni msana ule mkubwa kwangu. Kwa sababu ni wa kijana wangu na kijana dio first born. Kijana hatuko na yeye hapa sasa hii kwa sababu ya kikasi anatokaka kama amechelewa. Kwa hivyo tu kuweza kukuja naye. Huyu naye ndio bwana wangu huyu. <laughs> Ako hapa. Una dio second born. Wangu. Oh, huyu anaitwa Ruse. Na huyu anaitwa Dishoku. Dio huyu. Huyu dio second born. Na second born wangu anaitwa Jacqueline Wangali. Huyu ndio bwana wake. Nashukuru Mungu. Huyu dio last born wangu. Mungu ni mwema na nashukuru kwa hiyo. Asante, asante. Tupigieni makofi. Tutawaomba mpige makoti hapa ili tuweze kuwaombea na tuombe Mwenyezi Mungu Baba wetu wa biguni Tukushukuru ni kwa sababu ya familia hii ya Harrison na Nancy wamesuhudia ukuu wako na upendo wako wakati ambapo Baba wetu Nancy mama yao na mke wa Harrison amekuwa na changa moto miaka mingi amesuhudia lakini umekuwa mwaminifu ni kwa sababu ya subira ambao baba wetu iwapatia kama familia na imefika mahali baba wetu kaleta suruhu kwa sababu lisikia kilio chao na ukaweza baba kuleta uponyaji wako kupitia upasuaji uliofanywa dada yetu kwa hakika uliaminika kwa pamoja naye katika uwepo wako na ukasaidia madaktari kutekeleza wajibu 
ambao walikuwa waufanye na deposa siku ya leo kama familia wako katika uwepo wako kulindua jina lako kukushukuru ni kwa sababu ya tendo hili ambao ume, ambao umewafanyia tuwalinua jina lako ni kwa sababu ulisikia kilio cha familia hii na haswa kilio cha Nancy kanisa na marafiki walipokuwa analilia wewe uingilie kati umnasuye dada yetu katika hatari ambayo ilikuwa imeletwa na mwofu setani na katika yote tumeona uokofu wako na diposa tunaunganika pamoja nao kuliinua jina lako na kulitukuza na kusema ni wewe umefanya haya ni wewe umetenda haya kwa utukufu wa jina lako ameomba ya kwamba we die mwanzo na diwe mwisho tendo hili ambao umelianza utalikamilisha ni kwa sababu uponyaji wako toa unena juu yake kuanzia kichwani mwake na ili baba wetu aweze kuendelea kujumuika na familia yake na pia kujumuika na watu wa kijiji na pia kanisa lako baba twafunika mujisa huu na damu ya mwanao Yesu Kristo toa baba wetu wa biguni uzidi kuwa pamoja nao tendo hili lilipokuja lilifanya bwana yake akatoa maisha yake kwako kama mwokozi wa maisha yake na tuainua jina lako ni kwa sababu wewe unajitukuza na mambo ambayo nimesaidia ni machungu na saingine ni mazuri tuainua jina lako na tazamani asante pokea shukrani na safamilia hii katika jina la Mungu Baba Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu amen pokea sadaka hii ambao watumishi wako wameitoa ni kwa sababu wametabua mkono wako baba wetu ukitembea pamoja na dada yetu Nancy kuleta uponyaji wakati ambapo baba wetu wa biguni alikuwa na uchungu mwingi na sasa wanapopiga magoti hapa wanakiri ya kwamba wanakutegemea katika maisha yao na baba wetu toombe upokee sadaka hii itakaze ifanye kazi yako nawe ufanye kazi ya familia kwa familia hii kwa jia ajabu kutana haja za moyo wao na toomba baba wetu bariki kazi ya mikono yao endelea kuwapa afya jema ili waendelee kukutumikia kwa utukufu wa jina lako katika jina la Mungu Baba Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu Bwana hawabariki hawafiche mafichoni mwake atawanja giza bere ya mapito yenu na baba wetu wa biguni anayejua kubariki awabariki mnapoenda na mnaporudi sasa na hata milele. Amen. Asanteni sana. Bwana kubariki sana. Eh God bless you. 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 Anajitetea, anasema ana marafiki wengi. Ana marafiki wengi. Haya, anza na hawa anza na hawa mbele Ah anza na anza na hawa mbele anza na hawa mbele Umekoa mema kwangu nashindwa kueleza we baba Nashindwa kueleza we baba Eh mwana Eh mwana Umekuwa mwema kwangu na 
sababu familia hii inapotoa shukurani wamefanya wengi wetu tushirikiane nao na tuomba baba utakaze zile abazo baba wetu tumetoa ni kwa sababu ya kuonyesha upendo wako pia usitakaze zifanye kazi yako nao wote ambao wameshiriki pamoja na familia hii baba nyosha mkono wako wa baraka juu ya kila mmoja wao katika jina la Mungu baba mwana na roho mtakatifu amen asanteni sana Asanteni. Bwana wabariki sana. E, sasa tuendelee kukaa katika nyumba ya Bwana. Eh, asanteni. 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 Eh, Bwana wabariki. E, Tuwapigieni makofi. Katika hiyo hali tuko na sukurani ya dugu yetu Edmond. Edmond Karikera Kaindre. Let us appreciate our brother. Amesema atasema kitu wacha aseme kitu. Yes, praise God church. Amen. God is good all the time. All the time. That's good. That's his signature. Wow. My name is Karikera Edmond. I'm from Burundi, Bujumbura Diocese. And I'm standing here to give thanks to the Lord because now I'm about to go uh, back to my diocese. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The reason why I'm here, it is because God has been so faithful to me. I still remember my first semester, it was not easy because of where I come from. From primary up to my high school, I studied in French. So to find myself in an English system, it was not easy. So I have to learn as the child learn English. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes the teacher could come in class and they speak, you get nothing. When you sit with others, they can even abuse you because of you don't understand what they are saying. But I cried out to the Lord and I said, God, you are the one who, who gives the language. So I pray that may you help me. The time I will be living, I will be speaking English. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the course that I was doing, it is theology. And theology goes hand in hand with practical. That is why I was sent to this church. Mm. And this church, actually, it has helped me a lot. I thank my vicar. Mm. Actually, <laughs> when I look at myself, and uh, I see how he loves me. Because... Despite the challenge, the language barrier I had, he didn't uh, prohibit uh, the pulpit from me. Mm -hmm. So he gave me the pulpit, even though I was breaking that broken English, I break it out. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. But he was building in me self-confidence. And I am so grateful to that. And I thank you all for being kind. Sometimes... Uh, 
uh, it is not easy when you know that you are standing in front of people who are older than you, knowledgeable than you, but you, you, you are patient with me, you listen to what I was preaching, praise the Lord, Amen. hallelujah, and I have got friends, moms, dads, and uh, uh, <laughs> how can I say, even your children, you are together in the, in the Sunday school, praise the Lord, Amen. so I'm so thankful for this far God has taken me, praise the Lord, may God bless you. Let us pray for Edmond. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this, your servant, Edmond Karikira, whom you brought from all the way from Burundi because you had called him so that he may come to equip his calling in Kare College Church Army. And as he has said, it was not easy for him because he has been brought up in a country where French is their national language. Indeed, it was not easy for him, but because you have been together with him, Lord, he stands here, kneels in the palm break to offer thanks to you, because God, you have been so faithful that you brought him to Good Samaritan Sheko so that he may be able to do his practicals, and he has become a source of comfort, a source that has been uh, helping our teens. And every time he got a chance to speak of your want, he was courageously proclaiming it without fear because your spirit was always together with him. We want to thank you because of the time that he has been with us, the time that he has been in Curry College, we want to thank you that now he has come to the end of his studies, and even has he planned to go back to Bujibura, we want to commit him to you. That God, the reason and the purpose for calling him, bringing him to this nation to equip his calling, as he go back to Burudi, Lord, we pray that, Father, in the name of Jesus, he will be able to use what he has been able to stand in Karai College and the practicals that he has done in Nairobi Diocese and especially in Good Samaritan Sheko. We want to pray that, Father, in the name of Jesus, may you grant him journey masses as he's travel back home and may your favor be upon him even as he go back to the diocese we pray that will be considered for the ordained ministry because he has proved himself called. And we pray that, Father, in the name of Jesus, once we hear that this has happened, we will all shout together as good Samaritan Sheko and say, the Lord has done it for him. We want to pray that, Father, in the name of Jesus, that your servant will continue to dedicate him to the Lord and in all his doing, and the talents and the lifestyle, he will always seek to glorify your name. And we pray that, Father, in the name of Jesus, you will be able to make him an instrument that will bring transformation in his country. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, we thank you, we worship you, we give you praise because of this your servant. He has been together with us and he felt that he cannot be able to go without acknowledging that God, you granted him favor to come to stand in Karai College and he got favor to join us in Good Samaritan Sheko. Even as a student, he has decided to go deep in his pocket and give thanks to you because you have been so faithful to him in a very difficult running situation, you proved yourself that, God, you can be able to work with your people because you are the one who gives languages, and therefore he was able to communicate your gospel in a very easy way. This is why he is giving this thanksgiving offering, and we pray that it may become a memorial offering 
that will go all the way as he go back to Bujubura, Burudi. We pray that your favors will be upon him. May you surround him with your goodness. May he be blessed as he leave this nation and this parish and also the diocese. And we pray that God may you continue to surround him with your goodness all the days of his life. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now since you served from here, you begin with us and then you go to these people. Then they will be able to say that they have partnered with you in that giving. So kujeni, kujeni, Rudi kwa wallet. Kusema asante Nime kuja kusema asante Asante kwa wema wako Na fadhili za kwa baba Nime kuja kusema asante oh, Asante kwa wema wako Na fadhili za kwa baba Nime kuja kusema asante Asante, asante, asante. Nime kuja, nime kuja kusema. Asante, 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 asante. Nime kuja, nime kuja kusema. Asante, asante, asante. Kuja kusema asante Nime kuja kusema asante Nime kuja kusema asante Nime kuja kusema asante Asante kwa wema wako na fadhili za kwa baba Nime kuja kusema asante Asante, asante Nime kuja, nime kuja kusema Asante, asante, asante Asante Nime kuja, nime kuja kusema Asante Pokea sadaka hii ambao tumeitoa pamoja na dugu yetu Edmond kudhihirisha upendo wetu kwake wakati wote amekuwa pamoja nasi ibariki na uitakaze na pia kipawa hiki ambacho amepewa ukitakaze na ili kiwe kubu kubu ya kwamba kuna wakati alikuwa katika taifa hili akasoma na namporudi kwa wakiona na nasema ni upendo wa wakristo wa Good Samaritan Sheko. Bariki sote ambao tumeshiriki pamoja na yeye katika jina la Mungu Baba, Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Amen. you go back to Bujubura in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bwana kubariki sana. Na ukifika huko, ukubuke niko Kenya, eh? Na nina passport. Sawa, sawa. Thank you. Thank you. We thank God for that. Let us celebrate Jesus for all his doings. Amen. Now we want to invite all ladies, all ladies to come and do as 
you show. All it is in the church. Remember that Christ is risen. All it is. As mothers, we want to minister with a song. Lord, we lift your name on high. Amen. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my So glad you came to save us. Lord, I lift your name. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my So glad you came to save us. You came, you came from heaven to earth to show us the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay 
celebrate them once again. Thank you so much, ladies, for such a beautiful song. And now we invite all men in the church, all men to come and minister with a song. Wanaume wote karibuni. Praise God, church. Happy Easter. Happy, Happy Easter. Easter. Amen. So today we are ministering with the song, How Deep the Father's Love. Amen. How deep the Father's love for us. How vast beyond all measure that he should give his only son. Now we take this opportunity to welcome our secretary to take us through the notices.
Vika, with Captain Henry, Deacon, Evangelist, lay leaders, the other leaders of service, and my dear Christians. Good morning. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Pale nyuma Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Huko juu Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Asifiwe kozi. Fufuka. This morning I'm humbled to start before you and I thank God Almighty for giving each and every one a chance to be in his sanctuary. It has taken the heart of God. Imekimu mkono wa Mwenyezi Mungu kukua katika kikao hiki. Kila wiki kutembea, kufanya kazi zetu na kurudi ni yeye amekuwa na sisi na ameona ni kwa hakika inabidi tukue hapa. Oh glory and honor to our heavenly Father. Before we go on, let us appreciate our God from the bottom of our hearts by clapping the way we normally do it. Four, three, two, one, we go. Thank you so much. Iyo imefikia mwenyezi mungu, meifanya kwa upendo kabisa. Asanteni. Na wakaribisha nyote katika kikao hiki. Mjisikia mko hulu na mko pahali panafa. Thank you for coming. Thank you for taking part. You have already been counted. Bingu ikihesabu wenye wamekuja, tumehesabika. Thank you so much. Before we go to the notices, we would like to recognize visitors. If this is your first time to be here, kindly start so that we can uh, uh, acknowledge your presence. Kama ni mara yako wa kwanza kuwa kikao hiki, simama tukukaribishe. Do we have a visitor among us? Yes, the family of Nancy. Thank you so much. Apart, maybe you can take your seat, the family of Nancy. Thank you so much. Apart from uh, those ones, we have other two there, three. Mutakuwa muna shiriki na sisi kuendelea. Ama mutarudi kwa kama. Kama mutakuwa muna shiriki na sisi, nipungie mkono wako. Shall you be fellowshipping with us? Thank you so much. All the three, msiketi, msiketi, tukona ujube wenu. They will be fellowshipping with us after the service. If you are sitting next to that visitor, we have our people's word in here. Umlete hapa mbele. Dio abiwe what to do. Let us read our welcome note to our visitors. We are happy to have you as our visitor. Appreciate your visit to our church today. May you feel the presence of the Lord as you worship with us. Thank you for choosing this church to be your church from this day. Uh, feel free to mewa karibisha with open arms after the service. Kaidile mkuja hapa mbele, muonekane na our people's word. And thank you, you may have a seat. We go to the notices. The vicar's open office remains open from Tuesday to Friday from 9 a.m. If you'd like to see the vicar every Tuesday to Friday, but the official day to see our vicar, in case you'd like to share something with him, you'd like church to do something for you, the official day is Tuesday. Any other day, you can comfortably allege with him. Our first development fundraising will be coming Sunday, 7th, April 2024. Uh, isiku tulianza kuitangaza kutoka January, na sasa iko karibu sana kuingia ama kufika. It will be coming Sunday. Uh, Tujitayarishe, yeah, the online fundraising that we are doing, we are doing them very well. And then there are the pledges, each and every one that pledged. Kaidre, you can uh, deposit to the bank, you can put an envelope, you deposit uh, all you bring here in the church with your name and your member number. Let us pray and prepare for next Sunday. This is to purchase the plot that is next to the church. We keep the day in prayers. Napia to Jitore.
the Nairobi Diocese Mothers Union Retreat for all ladies it will take place from 22nd to 26th, May 2024 at Travelers Beach Hotel, Mombasa. Charges per person is 30,000. Uh, payment is through that number that is there. That is the account for uh, ACK Mothers Union, Nairobi Diocese for Mothers Union. Uh, deposit of 10,000 if you will accompany the other people is supposed to be paid. 10,000 inafaa kukua imelipwa kama utakuwa na wengine kwa katika hicho kikao. Uh, confirmation classes are there every Sunday. Adult classes takes place immediately after the main service. And for the teens, it is from 2 p.m. Confirmation uh, service, it is very near because it will be on Saturday, not Sunday. To Angalia Hapo, it will be on Saturday, 13th, 2024, next month. TE classes are there every Sunday at 8 a.m. And Mondays from uh, 6 p.m. Uh, we are still in the book of, uh, we, are, we are learning about prophets. And uh, there is a chance, there is a second chance from God for those or for us who are sinful. There is a second chance. That is why God was sending prophets to Israelites. Watubu na wamurudia mwenyezi mungu. In case you would like to join TEE, it is a programmed Bible study. Our teacher is Mr. Philip Otiano. You can see him after this. Ushers today, they're from Bethlehem. Ushers next Sunday, they'll be from uh, Nazareth Fellowship. A few additional notices. Still the online fundraising going on well, Bethlehem and Jerusalem. The target is one million, Judea and Nazareth, 700,000 each, and the youth, 600,000. The big day is coming Sunday. Kasarani Ajrikonare will have a retirement service for our diocesan bishop, Reverend Joel Waweru, on 5th May, 2024, and it will take place at St. Gertrude Cray City. That will be on 5th May. Easter envelopes are available. And uh, also last Sunday they were issued out. We will be giving towards the love that God showed to each house, showed or showed to each and every one of us. They are still going around. Kama hauna bahasha, utapewa na ashes. will be given time for that. Be counted. And you say, yes, I've seen the Lord. In our prayers, let us remember uh, the sick. We have quite a number of our Christians who are sick. And as a family united in love of Jesus Christ, let us keep them in prayers. One of them is uh, George Bainanguru, our church school chairman, Leonard Munyika, our media team chairman, Rusi Awal, she hails from uh, uh, Nazareth. Still, she's ad admitted at Kenyatta National Hospital, and she's doing well. Grace Modoni Mungai and uh, her daughter, she was attacked by goons. She's admitted. Let us keep her in prayers. Let us also pray for Damaris Rogoro, whose brother has passed on and the burial will be on Tuesday. Let us also pray for Mary Saulo. Uh, she hails from Jerusalem. She lost her mother and the burial will be on 6th April at Mohoroni. Confirmation will be on Saturday, April 2024 as it has been indicated. Candidates kindly pick application forms from the receptionist, Ruth, today, parents, kindly note this, the application forms, kindly pick them from uh, our receptionist, first floor, uh, from Ruth, and they should be returned within the course of the week. We always have a, mid, uh, holy, uh, a midweek service with Holy Communion that takes place every Thursday 
every week, and it takes place from 6 to 7 p.m. Sunday school, we have, we'll be having performing arts on 20th April at Achidi Connery Revo, and they'll take place, it will take place at St. Abro's City Chicken. That is a Sunday school. They will be having performing arts at St. Abro's on uh, 20th April 2024. Idri parents, watoto holiday, kisikia kuna church activity, release them so that they can be taught more about uh, the Sunday school and also the church. Sunday school will be, uh, the Sunday school Sunday will be on 28th April 2024. Sunday school Sunday will take place on 28th April 2024. Mission and, and vagarism training will be on 27th April 2024 at St. Matthias Parish Giro from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Five delegates are required to attend. This is from the mission and evangelism team. Sunday school provincial conference for all Sunday school teachers will be in Naika region or the Happy Lad Academy, uh, the Happy Academy, that is a school for SCK St. James Buruburu from 22nd to 26th April 2024. That is Sunday School Provincial Conference. It will take place at Naika. Finance and General Purpose Meeting will take place on 3rd April, that is coming Wednesday, from 5.30 p.m. All those who do the sitting, finance and general purpose committee will be having a sitting on 3rd April, that is on Wednesday, from 5.30 p.m. Kaidri Christians be praying for this committee. Zone of Fellowships, Nazareth, they'll go to Rose Marina, that is Nazareth, and they normally go on Friday. Judea, Mr. and Mrs. Kennedy Ocheng, Jerusalem, they'll go today. At Mr. and Mrs. Stephen Minor, Bethlehem, your Zono leader will communicate to you in the course of the day. I am Mrs. Ruth Jeroge. I'm saved, and I love Christ as my personal Savior. I wish you a blessed Easter holiday. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Let us appreciate our secretary again. Yeah, I would like to put emphasis on confirmation. We are intending to give out the form, the registration form today, and we are pleading with you, parents. Allow your children to come and pick them, because that the ones who will pick the forms today, they are the number that will prepare to present to Bishop on Saturday, next Saturday but one. Kindly, if you are there and your child has been attending the class, make sure that they come for those forms. Kindly do not forget that. We are also intending to have them from Tuesday, Tuesday from 10, we shall be having them to prepare them thoroughly before they are presented to the bishop. So we also request parent allow them to come very early at that time so that we may have enough time with them. We prepare them for the confirmation. We have, uh, we have areas that we never covered and would like to have them to make them cover them so that we shall not have any problem when the bishop will be coming. So kindly parent, let us partner with you. We do not want to see or to hear now children asking for permissions to go to visit their show show. Kindly let them for the few days, let us have them so that we may have an easy time to prepare them. Thank you so much. Now, as we prepare ourselves to receive the word of God, let us all rise and invite the praise and worship team to guide us in that. 
and we open our hearts, we open our ears, spiritual ears, so that we may hear what God has for us. To see wote. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Happy Easter. Yeah. Uh, yes, we have kifo, we have mauti, we have dhambi, we have shinda yote. Okay, na kwa hivyo injili yake inaendelea. So we have risen with Christ, we are winners. So we sing to him. Mishinda kumbe badala yake injili ya indamele Walipomu wa Yesu walidhani wa mishinda kumbe badala yake injili ya indamele Tuimbe ni kama mishinda seriously Si ya mishinda kifo it's hallelujah we happy Tusichoke Walipomu wa Yesu walidhani wa mishinda kumbe badala yake injili Ndambele walipomu wa Yesu alinani wameshinda kumbe badala yake injili aenda mbele injili aenda mbele injili aenda mbele kumbe badala yake injili aenda mbele injili aenda mbele injili aenda mbele kumbe badala yake injili aenda mbele Shinda kumbe badala yake injili ya inda mbele walipomu wa Yesu walidhani wameshinda kumbe badala yake injili ya inda mbele walipomu tema mate walidhani wameshinda kumbe badala yake injili ya inda mbele walipomu wa Yesu walidhani wameshinda kumbe badala yake injili ya inda mbele kika kufa kwako baba wetu wa biguni kulileta ijiri yedebere na diposa tunakusanyika siku ya leo tukiwa na kubu kubu ya kwamba umefufuka tunaomba kupitia tendo hili unene nasi kupitia neno rako na ni katika jina la Yesu tunaomba na hata kuamini amen tumpigie bwana makofi Christ has risen. He has risen indeed. Happy Easter. Praise be to God. I am Henry born again by the grace of God. And I'm grateful to God that it is through the resurrection of Jesus that have, has made me who I am. 
after acknowledging the work that he did on the cross for me. And I'm so grateful to join you as we celebrate this Easter when we acknowledge that Christ is risen and he is risen indeed. Praise be to God. Psalm 118 verse 1 to 2, 14 to 24 was read to us. In the praise of the Old Testament reading, we have read the Acts of Apostles, chapter 10, verse 34 to 43. The epistle was taken from the, the first letter of Paul to the Corinthian, chapter 15. We read verse 1 to 11, and the gospel according to St. John, chapter 20, we have read verse 1 to 20. Uh, last Sunday we celebrated the triumphal entry of Jesus to the city of Jerusalem and we remember how they celebrated him saying Hosanna, Hosanna. They were claiming that he may be able to save them. Little did they understand that he was not coming to be a political uh, liberator, but he was coming so that he may be able to save humanity from the condemnation that came in the Garden of Eden after Adam and Eve were not able to live within the commands that God had given them. And we see how Jesus spent the entire week. We came here on Thursday as we observed the command that Jesus gave on that Thursday, reminding his disciples that they need to love one another so that people may know that they are his disciples. And after that, Jesus now, on Friday, we came here and we saw how Jesus was taken through a very tough journey where he was betrayed by one of his own, that is Judas. And then he was handed to the authority, and Jesus surrendered himself and for questioning, and nothing was found sinful in him, but they still decided that he should be crucified. Praise be to God. And they shouted, crucify him, crucify him because the authority were uh, to release one person during the celebrations of the Passover. And this time they were to release Barnabas. They were to release Jesus because he had no fault in the scene, followed by the authority. And then they said, instead of releasing Jesus, let Barnabas come to us. And Jesus was taken down to be crucified and he died and before he died the word of God says that he was that last in the gospel that we read on Friday chapter 19 when he said he is dusty and then when he was given the, the, the wine with the finger and he drank then he gave his spirit but before then he said it is finished Jesus said he had finished everything, meaning fulfilling the scriptures, the law, and the prophet, that he was to come and die through crucifixion because of humanity. He said it is finished. He has brought, uh, he has paid the penalty of sins for the entire world. And he said it is finished because he nullified the sacrifices that were offered in the old covenant, which could not make humanity perfect. Jesus gave his spirit. And we see that the authority who had taken him to the cross came to confirm whether truly he was dead. And as they came, they found Jesus was dead and they were able to break the legs of the thieves because they were not yet dead. Jesus 
died. Praise be to God. And as we have sung, those who crucified him thought that the chapter was crossed. But we see that the death of Jesus on the cross became the beginning of the gospel. Praise be to God. It became the beginning of the gospel. They thought that he, they had done away with the mission of God. Little did they know that they were opening a new chapter of the risen Christ. And this is why we are today observing this day that Christ is risen as, and is risen indeed. Praise be to God. Because we, 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 we can see uh, that after his death, Joseph of Arima there went to Pilate, requested for the body of Jesus. They partnered together with the Nicodemus, and they went and read the body of Jesus in a tube. And in the Gospel of Luke chapter 23, verses 55 and 56, records that the women who had come with Jesus from Galilee followed Joseph of Arimathea, and they saw how the body of Jesus was laid in the tube. And therefore they were witnesses that Jesus died and was buried. Praise be to God. And they knew where the tube was because they witnessed. Also Mark records almost the same. In chapter 15, verse 47, the, the names of these women were Mary Magdalene and the Mary Mother of Joseph. And Mark records that they saw where the body was laid. Also, the, the Gospel of Matthew records in chapter 27, verse 61, that Mary Magdalene and other Mary were sitting opposite the tube as the body of Jesus was laid. And a big stone was rolled at the entrance. I think that the stone was rolled to make sure that the chapter has, had been crossed. He will not come out again. And maybe they went celebrating as much as they left guards there. They never expected again to hear of Son of God. The king that the, 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 the claim that he was saying that he is claiming to be their king will be nowhere to be hand. But we are so grateful to God that the word of God is saying that these women who witnessed where the tube was went and prepared spices and perfumes. And because it was uh, on a Friday, they rested on a Saturday to observe the, the Sabbath. And that is why after the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene is recorded by John that early in the morning, when it was still dark, he went to the tube and he saw that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. As much as it was at night, it was still dark. The scripture confirms that Mary Magdalene knew where the tube was. Praise be to God. And therefore, it is not a mystic that Mary Magdalene went to another tube and found that the, 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 the stone had been rolled. No, he went to the tube where Jesus, Jesus' body was being laid. Praise be to God. And he found that the, the big stone that he had witnessed had been rolled away. We may ask ourselves, why was this stone rolled? Other gospel records that the angel had rolled the stone. Other, there is a gospel that says, as they were going to the tube, they were asking, who will roll the, the stone away for us? Because they had gone purposefully to preserve the body of Jesus with the perfumes that they had, that they had prepared. But brothers and sisters in the road, the stone had been rolled from the entrance so that the disciples will be able to easily see that the tube was empty and Jesus was no longer in the tube. Praise be to God. That is why the stone had been rolled away so that as Mary Magdalene comes, 
he will be able to get in the tube and witness that Jesus was not in the tube. As much as he went back telling the other disciples that they have taken him away, this was not the case. Jesus had been raised. Praise be to God. The other disciples came. They witnessed the same. They got into the tube and found only the Rydians that were there. They were left there as a sign that Jesus was not in the grave. And Jesus was alive. He did not need again the burial cross. And he left them there in that tube. But still the word of God says they did not understand the scriptures. They thought that someone came and took away the body of Jesus from the grave. And the disciples thought that the Pharisees, the authority from the Roman, the Sanhedrins, had taken the body of Jesus away. And that is why we find that Mary Magdalene is claiming that the body ha ha had been taken away. Even when he went back to the disciples, he told them, they have taken my Lord away, and I don't know where they have kept, them, ha kept him. Simply because they, they had not understood the scriptures. Because Jesus, in his ministry, he kept on telling his disciples, about his crucifixion, about his suffering, about his resurrection. And this you can be able to find it in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 20, verse 17 and 19. And also the Gospel of Mark, chapter 8, verse 38. And the Gospel of Luke, chapter 18, verse 31 and 32. All these records that Jesus had a lot of time with his disciples, telling them that one day I'll be handed to the authority, I'll be persecuted, I'll be crucified, I will die and will rise again. Praise be to God. But still, the disciples could not understand how this would happen. Having been revealed that he was the Messiah, they could not understand. And that is why you find that even during the arresting of Jesus, Peter was, uh, was ready to stand and fight for Jesus because he could not imagine Jesus going through what he had talked about and they were not imagining. And we see that after the disciples left, Mary Magdalene remained outside the tube crying and she wept. She bent down looked in the tube. Maybe he was thinking Jesus would appear again. Jesus would, the body of Jesus would resurface, but this was not the case. Simply because they had not understood the big mission that Jesus was to complete through his resurrection. And the word of God says as he bent down he saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body was, and one at the head and the other one at the foot. And they asked, woman, why are you crying? And then he went back to the same narrative. They have taken my Lord away, she said, and I do not know where they have put him. At this, she turned aloud and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not recognize Jesus. He asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking that he was a gardener, Mary Magdalene said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him. I will get him. Jesus said to Mary, and then Mary recognized Jesus because Jesus called her by name, and then Mary acknowledged Jesus as the master. 
And Jesus told Mary, don't grin on me. I have not yet ascended into heaven. Now instead go and tell my brothers. Tell them, I am ascending to my father, your father, to my God, your God. And Mary Magdalene went and told the news that he had seen the risen Christ. Praise be to God. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, the story of resurrection is very key to our faith. Because in the Gospel of Matthew, the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, Matthew records that after Jesus resurrected, he appeared to Mary Magdalene as they left and went to give the news. The word of God says in verse 11, while the women were on the way, some guards went into the city and reported to the chief priest everything that had happened, meaning even the guards who were there witnessed what had happened, that the stone had been rolled away and the body of Jesus was not in the tube. And what did they do? Well, they, they, they said what had happened. When the chief priests had met with the elders, they devised a plan. They gave the soldiers a large amount of money, telling them, you are to say, his disciples came during the night and stole him away while we were asleep. If the report gets to the governor, this will certify him, certify him and make, we will keep you out of trouble. So the soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed. And this story has been widely circulated among the Jews to this very day. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. The story of resurrection of Jesus is very key to our faith. Because we can see there are people who devised a plan and they were eyewitnesses to say that the disciples stole the body of Jesus and therefore denying the resurrection of Jesus. But I am grateful to God that the resurrection of Jesus happened as it had been predicted by the law and the prophets and Jesus himself. And whatever Jesus said happened exactly because he was raised from dead. Praise be to God. He appeared first to Mary Magdalene. The bodily resurrection of Jesus is showing that he was not a false prophet. And that is why before he ascended back to heaven, he appeared several times. And we have been reminded even in the epistle that we have read that he appeared to several disciples. Even to 500 people he appeared confirming his resurrection. Praise be to God. And later he came to appear to Paul when he was going to persecute the church. He appeared to him, asking him, Saul, Saul, whom do you persecute? And this is a confirmation that Jesus rose from the dead. Praise be to God. We can also be able to see that the resurrection of Jesus reminds me and reminds you that his resurrection is a surety to us that Jesus conquered death as we prayed the prayer of the day, we were reminded that he broke the chains of death by his resurrection and gloriously rose again. And now we can be certain that death is not the end. We have a future because of the resurrection of Jesus. Praise be to God. And that is why we are Christians. That is why we have hope that once we die in this body, Jesus rose again so that we'll be able to have bodies, that we'll be able to be glorified and live with him 
all the days of our lives as God had intended that we would be able to enjoy the fellowship in his presence in the Garden of Eden. The resurrection of Jesus is a historical fact. Praise be to God. That is why we are celebrating today as we see how he appeared first to Mary Magdalene and later to the disciples, he appeared to them and therefore it is a historical event. He also appeared to his disciples and especially when Peter had decided to take the disciples back fishing in the Sea of Tiberias, Jesus appeared to them. Praise be to God. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, Jesus has risen. The tube got empty. The cross where he had been fixed became empty. He went to the tube. After three days, he rose again. Praise be to God. All this happened so that he may be able to redeem us. All this happened so that we may become the children of God. As the gospel of John chapter 1 and verse 12 reminds me, it reminds you that after accepting Jesus Christ, we are given the right to become the children of the Most High God. Praise be to God. And therefore, even as we continue to follow Jesus, we are reminded that he is together with our Father. He has been given great honor at the right heart of God. He is interceding. He is advocating for us. Iri tukipiga vita, muisowe tutaishi na ye mirere na mirere. Bwana siwe sana. Jabu wabaro tunayesa kurifurahia kama wa kristo ni kwa sababu tunaujube wa kuhubiri ya kwaba yesu wa rifufuka. Yesu wa mefufuka hayuko kaburini. Hameshida kifo na mauti. Hame mwaga damu msarabani ili tupate utakazo. Na diposa hatu hitaji kuhisi kwa dhambi ni kwa sababu ya likufa msarabani. Dini zigine zinazo hubiri. Viongozi wao bado ma, mifupa ya viongozi wao bado yako makaburini. Yesu yeye abaye tunaye muhubiri. Yeye mifupa yake na mwiri wake ya diparu mamerudi biguni. Na tunasubiri ya tarudi mara nyingine. And I want to believe that Jesus has been appearing in our lives. Jesus has been appearing in our lives. Yesu anajidhirisha katika mienendo yetu tunapoishi kadi na mapenzi yake. Kuna mambo matano ambayo tunaweza kusoma kutokana na ijiri hii ambayo tunamkumbuka huyu danda Mary Magdalene ambaye alimpenda Yesu ni kwa sababu ni yeye aliyekuwa na seven demons as recorded in the gospel of Luke chapter 8 and verse 2. And then after that he followed Jesus. Following Jesus without looking back. Following Jesus even when Jesus is dead, he is still looking for Jesus. Praise be to God. How is your walk with Christ? Do you love Jesus? The way Magdalene loved Jesus when he was in the ministry, he continued to follow Jesus. When Jesus was crucified, he made sure that he knew where the body had been laid, and even he purposefully prepared spices and perfumes so that he could preserve the body of Jesus. How do I love Jesus? What am I doing for Jesus? Am I sharing the love of Jesus with the others? And this is why Mary Magdalene maybe was given such an opportunity to be the first person to see the risen Christ. Praise be to God. Mary Magdalene, as much as with the other disciples, did not understand the mission of Jesus. Still, Jesus appeared to them to confirm that he had called them. And therefore, they had to go and share the good news of the risen Christ. Praise be to God. Do we still suffer from the same problem that we do not understand the big mission of Jesus? Many are times Christian, we follow Jesus because of miracles. Churches are filled because people want miracles. 
But Jesus did not come because of miracles. He came so that those miracles may lead us to understand Jesus that he came to redeem us. Praise be to God. You will find that every crusade has been called and people are told they will be healed. They will flock there. They will be in big numbers. But once they are called to receive Jesus, who has gone before us with a mission of redeeming us, you find uh, 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 just a few will come. But for healing, we are not following Jesus because of miracles. Praise be to God. Miracles are coming so that we may know that God is at work to redeem us. Praise be to God. Because many are times we will follow Jesus because of the miracles. But this should not be the case. We should follow Jesus because we understand he suffered, he died, he rose again so that I may be able to live again. Praise be to God. The disciples intently searched the body of Jesus. The big question is, how much time do I spend seeking Jesus through prayers, through meditating the word of God? We are living at a time many, many times and a lot of time. We are wasting seeing things that cannot be able to bring any transformation in our lives. But we see that disciples of Jesus... As much as they did not understand that big mission, they intently searched the body of Jesus. May such a spirit be upon me that I will intently search Jesus through scriptures and understand the purpose and the mission of Jesus in my life. Praise be to God. Because that is the only thing that will be able to bring a difference as I continue to follow Jesus. Mary was persistent. Other disciples who had been called as his disciples, they came and saw the reunions. They went back home because they did not know what will be the next. But Mary Magdalene was very persistent. She remained there weeping until Jesus appeared to him. Brothers and sisters, we have been called to be persistent. In our four to for in our walk with Christ, we must be persistent. Magdaring, Mary Magdaring remained there. He wept until the angels appeared. Praise be to God. And then Jesus appeared to her. How persistent am I? How persistent are you in following Jesus? Sometimes we follow him. Mambo ikiharibika kidogo tunaenda kwa waganga. Bwana asifiwe sana. Tunaenda nyumba za maombi. Bwana asifiwe. Ama hatuyedagi kuabiwa vile mambo itakuwa. Eh? Tunaedaga na ni kinyume na mapenzi ya Mungu. We need to be persistent. Once you are a persistent, something extraordinary must happen. Mary Magdalene was persistent. An extraordinary thing happened that the angel appeared and Jesus confirmed to him, I am still alive. I have not yet gone to the Father. I need more time with you. Just tell the other disciples that I'll be there for them. Why? Jesus wanted to clear doubts that he had risen. And there is enough uh, indicators, enough evidence for those who wanted to touch the marks of the nails, had an opportunity to do that so that they could believe that truly Jesus had risen. Praise be to God. We see that Mary Magdalene and the disciples were braided by the grief and sorrow. And Mary could not recognize Jesus. Why? She was mourning the one he loved most. Many times we are not able to see Jesus. Even when he is with us, we do not understand whether he is with us because we have allowed sorrow and grief to bride us. It is high time we open our eyes and know it is God who is able to take our sorrow and grief away as he comforts us and he can be able to be together with us in every situation. Praise be to God. And therefore, brothers and sisters in the Lord, Mary Magdalene never kept quiet. 
he went speaking the message of the risen Christ. We have been called to speak about the risen Christ. We have the responsibility, I have the responsibility. Even as we move from this sanctuary today, God speaking about the risen Christ, tell people that the tube is empty and our master is honored at the right heart of God. He is waiting, advocating for us, praying for us, and will be able to come back for us. And take each one of us to the mansions that he, he promised to us in the Gospel of John, chapter 14 and verse 3. I have the responsibility. You have the responsibility. Mary Magdalene chose to speak about the risen Christ. And that is how the other disciples came to have moments with Jesus because Mary never kept quiet. Don't keep quiet. Continue to tell people about the love of God through his son, Jesus Christ, who came and suffered for us, who came and rose again so that we may have eternal life in Christ Jesus. Praise be to God. Jesus' bodily resurrection is the center of Christian faith. And because Christ rose from the dead, as he had promised, we know that it is true. He will come back for us. Praise be to God. Let us not be braided by situation and circumstances that we go through. Jesus is coming and coming very soon. How prepared am I? How prepared are you? May the Holy Spirit of God strengthen you and give you the strength that you continue to speak about the risen Christ in the season and out of season because this is what is expected of me and of you. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen. In our prayer books, prayer of paintings, item 21. Hear the words of charity and comfort our Savior said to who for him. If anyone would come after me, let him, deny, let him deny himself. Take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would lose his life for my sake will save it. Come to me who are tired of carrying heavy road. I will give you rest to all of you. Repent your sins, love your neighbors and intend to lead a new life following the way of Jesus. Come with the faith and take this holy sacrament to strengthen you. So let us reverently confess our sins to Almighty God. Item 22 together. Almighty God, creator of all, you marvelous made us in your image, but we have corrupted ourselves, damaging your likeness by rejecting your wrath and hurting our neighbors. We have done wrong and had to do right. We are sincerely sorry and heartily repent our sins. Cleanse us and forgive us by the sacrifice of your son. Remake us and read us by the Spirit to comfort us. We are this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, whose steadfast wrath is as great as the heavens are high above the earth, remove your sins from you as far as the east is from the west, strengthen the life in his kingdom, and keep you upright to the last day. Through Jesus Christ, our merciful high priest. Amen. Thank, Thank you, you Father, Father, for forgiveness. We, we come to your table as your children, children not trusting ourselves, we trust in ourselves, but you want. We hunger and ask for righteousness, and ask our hearts to be satisfied with the body and the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ the righteous. Amen. Amen. Let us all stand for the sharing of the peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. The peace of the Lord be always with you. The peace of the Lord be always with you. The peace of the Lord be always with you. The peace of the Lord be always with you. The peace of the Lord be always with you. The peace of the Lord be always with you. The peace of the Lord be always with you.
we now welcome the tithers kindly. We shall have our seat, and then we will come the tithers. Walio na fungura kumi, tunawalika kwa wakati huu, tunje mbele ili tuweze kubewa. Even if you deposited along the week, kindly come, we pray. Tukiwa katika hari hiyo Chukua na fasi kumushukuru mungu Hame kuaminia an income Mebariki mebariki kazi ya mikono yako Mebariki biashara yako Neno la mungu rinasema tulete sehemu ya kumi Ya mapato yetu, and that is what you intend to do. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you because of this, your servant who come into your presence. They have received an income from you. And now they have purposed to bring a tenth. As you remind us in the book of Marakai, chapter 3 and 10, that we test you in this. You promise that you are going to open the front gates of heaven. You pour blessings until we have nowhere to keep them. We pray that you may fulfill this word to them. Pour blessings until they have nowhere to keep them. You have promised to rebuke the devourer so that they may continue to enjoy the labor of their hands. We pray that you may bless the, the, the ten percent that they are bringing into your house and the night that remains with them, grant them the wisdom to use them to use it for the honor and glory of your name. Bless their places of work, bless their businesses of God. We pray that you may grant them favor in all that they do, and those who are employed continue to grant them even promotion where you see it needful. For those who have given from their farms, we pray that you may continue to increase their livestock, their farms, in their farms of God, and even what they have been planting, may it continue to increase. As you bless them here, we pray that you may bless them also in their rural homes. Bless them with good health, sound mind, that they will continue to enjoy the labor of their hands. We pray that you may bless their going, bless their coming, scatter darkness before their paths. Those whom you have blessed, nobody can curse. We pray that they will be able to enjoy these blessings, both now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. We decree these blessings in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. We decree this blessing in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Submit your tithes there. May the Lord bless you. May he continue to build a hedge around you. May he continue to bless you with ideas so that whatever you do, the Lord will be able to bless it. Barikuen. We now welcome all of us to stand as we give our offerings. We'll be singing Msarabani Pamuokozi. To Simame, Rituese Ku. Yeah. And as you bring your Sadaka, you are given the Easter envelope. Kindly come as you bring it. Tukireta sadaka pia tukuje na ile bahasha ya ista. Karibuni.
mwokozi wangu Aliponifia mtini Kwana wa mungu Damu ya yesu ya damani Unioko wa makosani Unienesha hoko come from you, O Lord. We thank you, Lord, because of your word that God has come to us through your servant. And in response, Lord, we've given out our uh, offerings, O Lord. We pray, Lord, Jehovah, as we surrender them to thee, O God, that you may bless them and cleanse them, O God, even as they get, Lord, to edify your work, Lord, in today's parish and even to the entire diocese. Father, we pray that they may be of blessings, Lord, into this altar. We also pray for all of us who have given out, O oh God. We pray that you may bless each and every of us. You may expand, Lord, our territories, O King of Glory. Lord, we want to bless all these gifts, Jehovah, King of Glory. We want to pray the work of the hand of your servants, O oh God, that you may bless them, O oh God. Father, we pray that you may bless them 
You may remember them, Jehovah, King of glory. You may see them through into their lives, into their families, into whatever that they, does, oh, they do, O oh, King of glory. And now, Lord, we pray that you bless this gift, O oh, King of glory. May they be a blessing, Lord, even in your house, for, so that, Lord, you may also bless your people. We surrender them to you. Bless them, Lord, and expand the territories of your people. For we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. We remain standing for thanksgiving and remembrance. Is the Father with us? Yes. Is the Christ among us? Yes. Is the Spirit here? Yes. This is our God. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We are his people. We are redeemed. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and our right to give you thanks. And praise great Father, living God supreme over the world, creator, provider, savior, and giver. From a wandering nomad, you created a family. For a burdened people, you raised up a leader. For a confused nation, you chose a king. For a rebellious crowd, you sent your prophet. In these last days, you have sent your son, your perfect image, bringing your kingdom revealing your will, dying, raising, reigning, and making your people for yourself. Through him, you have poured out your Holy Spirit, filling us with right and life. And now we give you thanks because you raised him gloriously from the dead. Through him, you, you have given us the resurrection hope for our life will be changed not taken away when our mortal body is laid aside we will enter our everlasting dwelling place to live with him therefore with ages and archangels and faithful ancestors and all in heaven we proclaim your great and glorious name forever praising you saying holy 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 lord god of power and mighty Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Almighty God, owner of all things, we thank you for giving up your son to die on the cross for us with everything. Pour your refreshing spirit on us as we remember him in the way he commanded us through these gifts of your creation. On the same night as was betrayed, he took bread. Give you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it, this is my body which was given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Amen. His body was broken for us. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup. He gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which was said for you and for many. And for the forgiveness of sins, do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. We are brothers and sisters through his branch. We have died together, we will rise together, we will live together. Therefore, Heavenly Father, hear us as we celebrate this covenant with joy and await the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. He died in our place making full atonement for the sins of the whole world, this perfect sacrifice once and for all. You accepted his offering by raising him from death and granting him great honor at your right hand on high. Amen, Jesus is Lord. This is the feast of victory. The lamb who was slain has begun his reign. You sit or near and as our Savior taught us, we are about to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those sin against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from me for, for the kingdom, the power and glory are yours now and forever. Amen. We break this 
bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, for we all share one bread. The cup of blessings which we bless. The sharing in the blood of Christ. Lord, we are with the faith and receive. Christ is the host and we are his guest. Christ is arrived forever. We are because he is. Ram of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Ram of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Ram of God, you take away the sin of the world. Give us your peace. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was broken for you, yes, keep God. your body and sorrow eternal life. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for you. Feed on him in your heart by faith be thanksgiving. Amen. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for you, keep your body and your soul in eternal life. Drink this in remembrance that Christ's blood was shed for you and be thankful. pande huu tukipokea mkate tunapokea divai pande huu tunatokea upande huu na hawa upande huu pia wakipokea wanasunguka upande huu kwa hivyo tunakuja raini mbili
Let us join together, prayer number 33. God Most High, we thank you for welcoming us, teaching us, and feeding us. We deserve nothing from you, but in your great mercy, you have given us everything, your Son, Jesus Christ. We love you and give ourselves to you, to be sent out of your work. Grant us your blessings, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We'll take our problems. All our problems, we say them to the cross of Christ. All our difficulties, we say them to the cross of Christ. All the devil's work, we say them to the cross of but Christ. But for all our hope, we, we set on the risen Christ. Christ, the Son of righteousness, shine upon you and scatter darkness before your paths. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. As we go, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ, amen. Amen. We want to wish you a happy Easter. And we also want to remind you that as our brother has said, parents with the candidates, candidates them come even to take the forms for registration. And also from Tuesday, 10, eh? release them so that they may be able to come so that we may be able to prepare them the bishop is coming here on saturday that is why we will not be having a holy communion next sunday because on saturday we are expected to have a holy communion from our old bishop let every department prepare for the service because this is the last service of our bishop uh, confirmation in good samaritan shiko Na tumepata bahati, wengine hawata pata kwa sababu wanaeza kuwa mestafu. Sinikweli, na kwa hivyo tumebahatika uh, siku ya ijumamosi, tarehe kuminatatu, tuweze kuwa pamoja nae, na pia tuweze kupata baraka kama Good Samaritan, even as we prepare for the Archdeacon Retirement Service that will be there on 5th. You keep on updating you on those who will be participating in that service. Because service badu itakui naenderea, tarehe tano, mwezi watano hapa kanisani. But we will inform you wale abawa atasimamia kanisa retu pande hile. Kwa hivu buwana mabariki, uh, I told you to pray for me. I met with uh, the family uh, that are selling the plot to us. Uh, they have the good news. They are still selling the plot to us. They have not changed their mind. What they need is a serious commitment. Praise be to God. Once it comes to the first commitment, as we promised them, they are saying they want to see serious, seriousness. And I believe we have shown the seriousness through the online fundraising. And I believe by Sunday, tutakuwa Baba John hizo pesa tumepata. A down payment of 3.5 million is weighted by the family. And they'll be able to make uh, a zero agreement through an advocate and I believe it will be on our favor. Bana sifiwe. Na kwa hivo, kira moja wetu. Let us be counted giving uh, towards this project. Remember, there is another plot waiting there. There is another somewhere. And all this, it is through our commitment that we can be able to achieve this. May God uh, give to those who preached uh, all that they preached. Because you did that, exercising your faith, my prayer is that God will supply the pledges that you made. God will be able to guide you on how to part with your resources as an act of worship as we give towards the purchasing of this plot. We wish you a blessed day. Our recession of him. Aitwa wa si mansi
our visitors if you want to join CGS family tafadhali kujeni hapa mbere people's warden is already here is waiting for you to take you through registration and how to be a member of this wonderful church wageni people's warden is already here kujeni hapa mbere he will take you through registration pia kama uko 